Who got away with murder that should be in prison right now? The scum who killed Junko Furuta, they got such light sentences for the crimes they committed, Mayano was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Minato received a 5 to 7 year sentence, Watanabe a 5 to 9 year sentence, and Joe an 8 year sentence. Deplorable and despicable, they should have all had life at the very least. David Miscavige. Where is Shelley? Issei Sagawa. Japanese guy who was obsessed with cannibalism of white women. Was studying in France, lured a fellow student over to study and have dinner. He killed her and ate her. Was caught but due to weird law technicalities between France and Japan on extradition and stuff, he got to walk free. Still is, living back in Japan. The boys who tortured and murdered Junko Furuta. The killer S of John Bennett Ramsey. Nobody talks about it but Floyd Mayweather beat his wife for years. She was writing a tell-all book and pressing charges against him when she was found dead beaten in her car, parked in her driveway. They ruled it a drug overdose. So far, whoever killed those college kids in Moscow, Idaho two weeks ago. Carla Homoka. Affluenza kid Ethan Couch. Judge should join him. Casey Anthony. My grandmother. She's the storybook definition of the sweet southern grandma to your face, but a true snake in the grass. Our entire family believes she murdered my aunt, her oldest daughter. Even with our constant efforts, police refuse to look into it. She is however on our city's most wanted list for burglary at 78 year old. Shrug hashtag hash. My dad's murderer, whoever he is, wherever he is. February 15, 1974. Police never investigated. So, that's that. Robbed and stabbed. The entire Marcos family from the Philippines. OJ. The juice is on the loose. Bollywood star Salman Khan drove over homeless people. The killer S and or abductor S of Madeleine McCann. Sackler family. Casey Anthony. She had how to kill my daughter as well as stuff like how to make chloroform in her search history, lied to everyone about who took her daughter, had parts of her daughter's body in her car, and had taped up and buried her daughter not far from where she lived. The lied about it dozens of times, and changed her story like three four times, yet people still let her off. I don't get it. The bouncer at the station nightclub in West Warwick, Rhode Island. Refused to open an emergency exit and blocked the door during a fire. 100 people died. Some politician's wife that hit and killed someone in England while she was drunk driving. The woman who falsely accused Emmett Till. The current Ayatollah of Iran for the senseless deaths of young people recently. I wanna gonna say Casey Anthony, then I saw it posted once, so I didn't. But as I continued, I realized why I scroll for about 50 answers or so and there she is again, so I'm gonna 100 and second that and say fuck that bitch, Casey Anthony should 100 be in prison or dead. The two officers. Balsarak and other dude that let Conorak die at the hands of Doma. IMO they should see jail time. 1. Imelda Marcos. Literally forced workers to finish their edifice complex at the expense of their safety and eventually lead to their deaths. 2. The entire Marcos family for arresting and killing journalists, activists, and political prisoners. They keep denying history and are even attempting to rewrite it. 3. Rodrigo Duterte for his war on drugs that led to the death of thousands of innocent Filipinos through extrajudicial killings. O.J. Simpson if you read how he actually killed Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman and how vicious his attack was you would be disgusted at the idea he is out golfing on the weekends. Don King. Killed two people separate incidents served less than four years. I feel like this question was made for O.J. Simpson. Caitlin Jenner. Got away scot-free with vehicular manslaughter. Whoever is kidnapping and killing Native American women and girls and the ignorant asses who haven't been investigating. 
Kala Homoka. Junko Furuta's killers. They are still wandering around. They didn't get the sentence they deserved. And on a related note, the people involved in the Sylvia Lincoln's case. The old bat died of lung cancer, but she didn't spend a minute in jail. Ethan Couch. Mohammed bin Salman for having Khashoggi killed. The Sackler family. Henry Kissinger. CEO of Nestle. Robert McNamara. Yeah he's dead, but he should have spent his life in prison. Mohammed bin Salman, he's done more than murder Jamal Khashoggi. That asshole from Enron. He deserved a serious sentence at a real prison. Not a few years in a low-security retirement home. Hundreds of lives ruined to save some cash. O.J. Simpson. I'm 20 and even I say it's so obvious. I'm not even in the same generation and it's mind-numbingly obvious. The paparazzi in the tunnel when Diana died. Sacklers. Casey Anthony. The guys who tortured the Japanese girl to death. Didn't really get away with it but they should still be in prison. Purdue Farmer. Vic Mackey. Jeffrey Epstein and Maxwell. Both got off way too easy. The rapist Brock Allen Turner. Caitlyn Jenner. The Greyhound bus killer, Will Baker. I believe he is formally known as Vince Lee. This case is one of the most horrific murders I have ever heard about. He was submitted to a mental health facility and released in 2015. If not in prison, he should have stayed locked up absolutely anywhere. Kim Jong-un millions suffer in North Korea, many getting executed for petty reasons. He dines and lives lavishly on the country's behalf. The Jews A woman operating an unlicensed daycare and leaving a baby alone for an hour. The baby wrapped lights around his neck and died. IDK if this should be classified as murder or not. The woman who accused Emmett Till of whistling at her. She admitted she lied, never got prosecuted and is still alive today. Henry Kissinger Junko Furuta's murderers. They abducted, raped, tortured, and then killed her and stuffed her body in a concrete drum. All four people involved with her murder are out of prison, one being released after only eight years in juvenile detention. Whoever pushed Ivana Trump down the stairs. Casey Anthony. A little late for this, but Paul Pitt killed 25 of his entire country and then spent the rest of his life free. He died peacefully in his home at an old age. This guy I know named Craig. Issei Sagawa. Siko should be in jail for life. Carolyn Bryant Emmett Till Lady. Sackler family. Casey Anthony. Most of Junko Furuta's torturers are out and about. Casey Anthony hands down one of the absolute worst outcomes ever imaginable. I can't bear to even read about that case without feeling my neck get hot with such pure rage. Edited to add I just typed without reading replies first but I am glad to see I'm not the only one haunted by her mere existence confounded face. Brock Turner. Casey Hoas Anthony needs to burn in hell and get her as beaten every day till death. O.J. Simpson. Robert Blake. James Burke. Former police chief of the county where Long Island is. He is very likely the Long Island serial killer, or might have had help with accomplice. Check out the Unraveled podcast about it, might be the first episode. I love true crime and this is the most wild shit I've ever heard. Elizabeth Holmes. While I know this doesn't quite fit the question I still have to say it. She's complicit in multiple deaths and the fact we could only get her fraud is tragic. The monster who murdered my cousin's daughter. Casey Anthony. <laughs>